This video demonstrates a typical installation of a Luke 15 and a half inch heavy duty clutch. Please refer to your vehicle manufacturer's installation manual for specific installation procedures and specifications. After the flywheel has been resurfaced and checked to ensure that all dimensions are within manufacturer specifications, place the flywheel on the crank flange and install the mounting bolts. Apply thread lock and torque bolts in a crisscross pattern according to manufacturer's specifications. Insert the alignment tool through the release bearing and captive disc. Position the non-captive disc so that the flywheel side is facing away from the clutch and insert it on the alignment tool. Install two threaded studs into the upper mounting holes to hold the clutch in place during installation. Mount the clutch on the studs, apply thread lock and install mounting bolts. Replace studs with bolts. Remove the clutch shipping clips. Torque mounting bolts in a crisscross pattern according to manufacturer specifications. Remove the alignment tool and the instruction slip from the release bearing. Rotate the release bearing clockwise as far toward the clutch as possible to ease assembly onto the transmission. Clean the bell housing. Inspect the input shaft, cross shaft, bushings, and transmission bearing retainer cap. Replace any worn or damaged components. Inspect the release yoke and replace it if you see any signs of wear or damage. Install the clutch brake. Put the transmission in gear. Make sure the yoke fingers are in the up position. Align the transmission squarely with the engine. Move the transmission forward and rotate the output shaft to mesh the input shaft and disc hub splines. Do not use excessive force and never let the transmission hang unsupported on the discs. Install mounting bolts and torque to manufacturer's specifications. Proper adjustment is crucial to clutch function and service life critical checkpoints. Release bearing to clutch brake gap, one half inch. Yoke fingertip to release bearing gap, one eighth inch. And clutch pedal free play. Begin by engaging the clutch pedal five full strokes. Then using the gauge provided with the clutch, verify the half inch gap between the release bearing and the clutch brake. If necessary, rotate the release bearing to achieve the proper gap. Insert the narrow side of the gauge between the release bearing and the yoke fingertips to verify a 1 8 inch gap. If necessary, adjust the clutch linkage to set the proper gap and tighten the linkage adjuster lock nut securely. When both gaps are set, tighten the release bearing locking ring. Finally, verify that there is at least one inch of clutch pedal free play. If necessary, adjust the upper pedal stop to raise or lower the pedal. Do not adjust the linkage. If the vehicle is not equipped with a clutch brake, adjust the linkage until the yoke is vertical and parallel to the release bearing. 
Adjust the release bearing until there is a 1 8 inch gap between the bearing and the yoke fingertips. When the gap is set, tighten the release bearing locking ring. Check and set clutch pedal free play as previously described. As part of regular vehicle maintenance, inspect the clutch and adjust as necessary following this procedure.